Millionaires are preparing, and the cool thing is, so can you. And by preparing properly, you could be one of those millionaires. But it's not about money. It's about understanding that you have the same opportunity as every single human being on earth. You're already healthy. You're already wealthy. You're already abundant. It's time to accept it. But we have to understand what's actually happening within our financial system. These guys are getting really really sloppy. My name is Coach JV. I love you guys very, very much from my family's heart to yours. I want to say I love you. My intentions of this channel is to help as many people as possible see the possibilities for them to break free from this just over broke paradigm. We've helped over 6,000 warriors worldwide. We're coming up on 7,000 very soon. And you can be the one, uh, be next, excuse me. So in the description down below, we can join for seven days for free in 2023, access to our portfolios, access to all our different calls. We have our revolutionary 120 day challenge, the five pillars of wealth, and we're helping as many people together, locked arm in arm, climbing up this hill, get our shit together. Most of all, it's a community of like-minded individuals, just like you that are watching this channel. And so you can vibe with other people that are, have the same type of mindset. Our community and our tribe is our vibe and your network is your net worth. So let's dive into this today. So I'm going to show you guys money flows. I, I follow the money. Okay. I watch what the big money is doing. I watch with BlackRock, JP Morgan, and I watch the money flows. Okay. So what's happening in our ecosystem, which I'm going to show you, the millionaires are moving their money out of the capital market. So what does this mean? Okay. We went from a era of quantitative easing, very low interest rates. Money was flowing like water, right? Cap, you know, venture capitalists were pumping money into businesses. The stock market, which I'm going to show you, was extremely overvalued, and it's still extremely overvalued with the Warren Buffett indicator. But with low interest rates and money flowing like water, they had to slow that system down in order to flip us into the new system. Remember what Rosie Rio said? You need a shock to the system to move consumer behavior. So what does this mean for you? We're going to show you what the millionaires are doing with their money. The multimillionaires and the big money are moving out of the capital markets into cash. But why would they be moving into cash right now? Well, think about it. Look what Elizabeth Warren's doing right now. She is working to attach crypto to the fentanyl trade and using crypto, unfortunately, and fentanyl as her political stance around destroying cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and all these different things. There is a political agenda here, guys. The money flows always goes back to the same spot. So what's happening is the big money is sucking their money back into cash because interest rates are really high in America and you can get 6% now. So the liquidity is getting sucked out of the capital markets. Interest rates are going to continue to go up, which is going to allow cash to be more valuable in America. We're going to crush other people's economies, unfortunately. And what's going to happen is it's going to suck the liquidity out of banks. And it's also going to destroy corporations. You're going to start to see massive layoffs, which I've been telling you in Q3 and Q4. So if you are the head of your household, it's time to start preparing. Number one, the first week in our, our um, academy, we do a budget. You have money to invest. And if you invest in these very speculative assets, I tell them they're speculative, in cryptocurrency, we have a bull run coming up in 2024. If you do it properly, like we do in the Warrior Academy, we don't get rich quick. We get wealthy for sure. We pull profits with a very strict exit strategy, and we plug it into things like leverage life insurance, whole life cash policies, business, precious metals. Now we're getting into real estate, and we work together, can climb up the hill together. Okay, so let's dive into this. Let's watch where the money flow is going here. Okay, so first thing we're going to dive into is what is going on with the high net worth individuals, and they are holding record cash right now. Now, why are they holding record cash? Because they know a dip is coming, guys. They can see it with interest rates going up and them cooling inflation. They know the job markets are going to start to falter. What that's going to do, it's going to lose confidence in the capital markets. The capital markets, which is the stock market, are extremely overvalued. That's where your 401k is sitting. So they're getting their big money. You know, Very wealthy people don't have 401ks. Okay, They do their money very different. They move their money into cash because they're getting 6%, 4% interest now on in their money, which is a decent return if you have a million, $10 million. So we're going to watch where the big money is going. Then I'm going to show you the Warren Buffett indicator, the M2 money report, and I'm going to show you what I believe is happening. And they're very thought out, methodical game, making you think they're here to save you. Cash is king right now, at least for some wealthy investors, that is. Robert Frank joins us here at Post 9 covering those family offices, which have become a more and more important part of the overall financial ecosystem. They have, and also ultra high net worth investors. If you look at wealthy investors right now, they are still very much 
in wealth preservation mode as opposed to growth mode, the world's ultra high net worth investors. That's those with a million dollars or more in investable assets. They now have 34% of their portfolios in cash. That is up from 24% a year ago. Marks a record high going back at least 20 years. That's according to a new... So think about that. Going back 20 years, that is a record high. So it increased dramatically year over year. Why? Because interest rates are going up. You can get more money off of cash. But they know that that means the capital markets are going to start to come down on the back end of this year and they're going to buy the dip. It's going to cycle back and they're going to become wealthier, the 1%. And the bottom quartile is going to continue to separate. The middle class is going to work, move down to the working poor. Study from Cap Gemini. Their holdings in stocks at their lowest in 21 years with stocks accounting for just 23% of their portfolios. Look at alternatives. That's private. So think about that. Their stocks now, they're sucking the liquidity out of the stock market. Where's your 401k allocated into? The stock market. Your 401k, your retirement, your vertical strategy, going to school, getting a job, is sitting in a 401k. If you're close to retirement, what happens if the, what happens if the capital markets come collapsing down? You're at the mercy, imprisoned by the capital markets. Your portfolio comes crashing down 20, 30%. You're five years from retirement. You take four years to have to recover just to baseline to grow again. Think about that for just a moment. You have to take control of your wealth. Private equity, hedge funds, other privates, that's holding steady at around 13%. More than two thirds say their priority right now as investors is wealth preservation. Even family offices, that's usually investors with $100 million or more. They're moving a lot of money to the sidelines. They're planning to add more fixed income from 12 to 15 percent, and they plan to trim their equities a little bit lower to 24 percent. That's according to a new study from UBS. As one family office told UBS, quote, we are not making big bets on anything right now. Well, All right. So they're moving their money out of the capital markets into cash, getting ready to buy the dip. They're putting their money into. And that's one of the things that uh, Janet Yellen, Elizabeth Warren, they're all worried about is these non-bank financial institutions. I'll give you a personal example. I like to bring up personal examples because I like to share from experience. So we're, we have a startup company, Refined Integrity, our beard company that's coming out. I went to the regular banks. We, you know, we're decent creditors. We have all these different loans and we, you know, for our businesses and stuff. And we run plenty of money through the bank accounts. Couldn't get a loan. So I went to a non-bank financial institution and I got 100K like that. <laughs> non but decent interest rate. I know I get to use OPM, other people's money. So I'm in the private markets getting lending or working with a private, you know, uh, broker to get lending 100K. Boom. Don't need the bank's money. Think about that for just a moment. So does that make me want to put my hard-earned money from this new startup that's going to be very lucrative? Am I going to put my – no, I'm going to – as soon as that money hits a bank account, I'm putting it into private equity. I'm putting it into leverage life insurance. I'm getting my money the hell out of the banks. I'm not letting them use my money or use my wealth to gain more wealth for their family. This is an even playing field. We can all do the same thing. Okay, so this is a Warren Buffett indicator. This is the stock market. And I we used to show this to you guys quite a bit. Remember, it was like at 230% overvalued. Well, the reason why it was so high back then, it's still overvalued by Warren Buffett indicators at 168%, which is pretty high, right? Think about that. So the reason why it was so high before is because of the quantitative easing and the printing of money. So when money is printed, there's so much money going into these businesses. It's just all fake money being printed, guys. So it's going into the capital markets. Everybody feels rich, right? And then what they do is it's illegal taxation. They raise inflation, which makes you poor. And it's just illegal taxation. They get you on taxes and then they're like, oh, we're going to lower taxes. And then they raise inflation. So they're always getting you on one way or the other. That's why every dollar you get, there's an opportunity cost to that. Okay. So I want to show you the M2 money report. So this is uh, showing you the money supply. So money supply, if you look at the, um, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, U.S. debt clock.org us debt clock you'll see that the money supply is going straight down now and this shows you the graph from 20 gosh 2008 um and then 2012 remember when i, when I talked to you guys about if you guys can see where i have my little mouse there in 2012 that's when the fmlc F -F -O -M -C, i keep saying it wrong f o m c my dyslexia f o m c future oversight committee uh, for non-bank financial institutions to regulate them. Um, also, Rosie Rios was told to reduce coin and cash usage. Obama's plan, rescue plan, which was to turn the printing machines on full blast. The bank bail-in committees was created. And then, boom, the printing machine was turned on full blast. 
this was a methodical transition, guys. So then we went to 2020. Uh, we had a shock to the system. They shut down uh, pretty much banks, branches. They slowed down coin and cash usage, which Rosie Rios was asked to do. But she said, you need a shock to the system. And our monetary system has switched pretty dramatically. And now the money supply is going down. So they're shutting down the money supply. Okay, So that's sucking liquidity out of the banks. You're going to see, in my opinion, a monopolization of the banks with the big four banks. You got JP Morgan, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs and Wells Fargo, they're going to, I believe they're going to start to dominate a lot of these smaller banks. The bank, the bank failures aren't done yet, guys, in my opinion. Okay. It's just my opinion. So here's the real deal. Here's what's happening. You guys are being told that cryptocurrency is a fraud, uh, that it's used for fentanyl, blah, blah, blah. You know, this whole narrative they're doing, it's all political narrative, but don't forget this came out March 9th, 2022. This is executive order. Uh, this is from uh, executive order on ensuring responsible development of, of digital assets. So section one, policy advances in digital uh, distributed ledger technology for financial services had led to dramatic growth in the markets of digital assets with profound implications for protection of consumer investors businesses, including data privacy and security, financial stability, and systematic risk, crime, national security, and the ability to exercise human rights, financial inclusion. Remember, remember, the vice president was out in South, uh, well, out in Africa, excuse me, one of the second largest populations talking about financial inclusion. They want their money in the system, guys. Um, energy demand and climate change. That's another narrative. In November 2021, non-state issued digital assets reached a combined market capitalization of $3 trillion. So they did a good job of sucking the liquidity out of that by destroying the markets up from approximately 14 billion in nearly 2016. Monetary authorities globally are also exploring, in some cases, introducing central bank digital currencies. While well, many activities involving digital assets are within the scope of existing domestic law and regulation, an area where the United States has been global leader, I don't see that. <laughs> Growing development is adoption of digital assets related to innovation, as well as inconsistent and consistent controls to defend against certain key risk necessities and evolution and alignment of the United States government approach to digital assets. The United States has an interest in responsible financial innovation, expanding access to safe, affordable financial services, reducing the cost of domestic cross border fund transfers and payments, including through the continued modernization of the financial system. So what you're truly witnessing is a change in your financial system. The millionaires, multimillionaires, and big family offices are moving their money out of the capital markets and into cash. They're waiting for the dip. They know the dip is coming, guys. Think about this. The dip is coming. Everybody in the financial space that's outside of the government or the media is preaching we're in a recession and they tell us we're not in a recession. I don't know about you, but it's really expensive to buy gas now. I don't know about you, but milk and protein and eggs, it's really, really expensive. And if you made $100,000 in 2020, you now make about $83,000 a year with a 17% accumulative inflation rate. You didn't have to do anything. They took away through inflation. They taxed you 17%. So if you don't start to take action and understand how money flows work, you're going to continue to either be hit by taxation or inflation. So how do you beat inflation? By becoming an intelligent investor, buying the dip, like Warren Buffett says, buying when there's blood in the streets and when everybody's excited and the hype train comes, get the hell out and secure your wealth. Horizontal strategy, cryptocurrency, speculative asset, as regulation comes in, there's going to be a boom coming in next year with the Bitcoin having. It's just going to follow a cycle. You pull profits out and you secure that and then you repeat the cycle. So we're going into our second cycle, which we call the generational wealth building cycle. The four year ago cycle, we were immature. We were still learning, you know, and so I, I and our team. We worked harder on ourselves than we did anything else. We studied what multimillionaires and billionaires do. You know, books like this, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Think and Grow Rich. I've been reading that for a long time. Richest Man in Babylon, the two ones that have changed my life over the last four years. Richest Man in Babylon and Becoming Your Own Banker. Okay. I just want to share this stuff with you guys. I love you guys so much. I hope this information reaches you well. I appreciate all of the, the likes and comments. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, I don't know if this information gets out to a lot of people just because of what we talk about. So if you can hit the like button, hit the notification button. I do a video every single day. And don't forget to check out our Good Morning Crypto Show. Ab's one of the greatest hosts in human history and the greatest crypto research team in the world. Uh, They're um, right after my, my, my video, a couple hours after my video every single day. And I always put them in the uh, description after this uh, 
exit. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. We'd love to see you inside the Warrior Academy. Seven days for free in 2023. Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go.